What's up, everyone? I'm Janitor Jake. And I'm Chris K. And welcome to the American Gaming Geeks. What? All right, and welcome back for another episode. Now, if you're new to the channel or you want to get right straight to the game, you can go to this number right here, and it'll take you right to the gameplay. Otherwise, we are going to get the show started. Man, I, feel, I sound quiet. I'm trying to... Oh, oh wait, there it is. Okay. <laughs> and so for all of you out there that are familiar with us and this channel, you might notice, hey, what's going on? A little bit different setup here. Yeah, a little bit different. <clears throat> so we decided to do something. Mm-hmm. This is your place. We're actually yeah. at your house. Studio B. So yeah, Studio B. So yeah. usually when Chris and I are filming or doing anything and I have to come over here to his place, yeah. we do stuff. But if we have to do American Gaming Geeks, well, it's just too bad. Too bad can't do it. Yeah. So you decided that you were going to kind of put together your own little American Gaming Geeks gaming studio yeah. down here and uh, kind of go go that route. You know, it's like 20 million more miles of cord to do it the way I have it. You have a nice, neat little setup, all the tech that you bought. So mine, it took me all day to set up, and now, you know, we're still having issues. But hopefully it works. Yeah, and that's the funny thing is so... My setup is more newer. Mm -hmm. We have the HDTV, I have the mixing board, the podcast microphones, and the audio, and the whole nine yards. But this is completely old school, and yeah. I'm actually going to get some footage here. Yeah. Go, go ahead with so, your TikTok. All right. I'll note to self. So here. look at that. We got a VCR. We got mm -hmm. a TV. We have the camera up there, mm -hmm. and it's just wires. Wires, wires going everywhere. Everywhere. Just everywhere. Look behind here. I got the computer recording. I got the console. Just wires everywhere. It's a big mess. Because it feels like, instead of saying, out with the old, in with the new, it's like, out with the new, in with the old. <laughs> now, look at this. All this jimmy-rigged microphone stuff everywhere. It, it totally is. But you were really super excited to get the studio going, so I'm going to let you take know, well, So you take over. You want to take, take over, over the show for now? Oh, so well, okay. Since it's at your place, I'm going to have you take over and right. do the whole shenanigans, and I'll be like you. So, three, okay. two, one, you're in charge now. All right, everybody. Welcome to the a new episode. Come on, figure it out. Take three. All right, well, we're going to begin with the show here. Today we've got an awesome game. Actually, it's a pretty crummy game here to go with the Studio B here for you. So it's called Animorphs Shattered Reality. Good old Animorphs Shattered yeah. Reality. I know a little bit about it. Like, I know there was a TV show, and I know that they made books. Mm -hmm. But I'm not very familiar with them because I never really watched the show, and I never really read any of the books. True, yeah. So I don't know any of the lore. So that's the only problem, like, playing through and putzing around with a game like this. Yeah. Is I don't really know any of the lore about it. I never really looked at any of it myself. I remember seeing the books in, like, Hallmark or Books World, Book World or whatever it was. And uh, I never bought any of them. I was curious, but I never actually got into it. I feel felt like one of those things was like super popular, and nobody knew why. I don't know. So I never, I didn't, I didn't know there was a show. I'm definitely kind of going into this not only blind play for the video game, but kind of culturally blind play. I don't know much about it, but we're gonna play it anyway. All right. All right. So you ready to pop the puppy in and get started? I'm game. All right. <laughs> Trading places. No good luck sticking that thing back there. It's fine. It's fine. You just got to have long, skinny arms. Look at that. Anamorphs. Shattered reality. That's right. That's fine. Don't be here to play the game. Sit there and goof around. No, no, no. I'm still in beta testing mode. Hang on. You have the power to turn into any animal you touch. But what do we do in the game? <laughs> Single track made Twisted Metal. Oh, Twisted Metal. I wonder if this game's going to be twisted. <laughs> Look at that. Animorphs. Sh Animorphs. Shattered reality. <laughs> Shanamorphs. Loading bar. I am an animist. 
Since the dawn of time, I have observed every detail of the universe. My interests have taken me far and wide, studying beings on worlds throughout the cosmos. Recently, my attention has been drawn to a conflict on a small blue I'm attention world deficit. Known as Earth. A shining blue planet known as Earth. Ruthless aliens called the Yurk have begun an invisible invasion. Taking Ooh, mmm, yummy. Minds, That's a thing from Star Trek. Helpless slaves. Uh oh. Oh no. Just like Khan did. Everything has changed. The Yurk leader, Vizzer 3, gained control of a weapon powered by a continuum crystal. Continuum? A Timonym. What's he doing with that crystal? <laughs> he worked that crystal. Shattered reality itself. Only one thing stands Whoa. between the Yurk and ultimate victory. What's that? Eagles. Yeah! Mm -hmm. Penguin. Oh, no. <laughs> penguin person. <laughs> All right. We are Ow. a group of young heroes called the Power Rangers. <laughs> Animorphs. <laughs> Janomorphs. It's basically the same story as Power Rangers. Is it? Oh, okay. Well, at least I don't according know Power to the Rangers manual. Either. Is it? Okay. There's like an alien invasion, but there's like these weird blue aliens too that can like turn into any animal that they touch. So like this one oh. alien was like, oh, there's five teenagers. Here's this power. So they're Siler, but with animals. Nah, 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 nah. New Do not disturb. Do not disturb. Memory card full. Beautiful. Uh, uh, all right, so it looks like your memory card actually worked. Hey, all right, for once. Okay. So, uh, the entrance, I guess. All right, let's get going. The entrance. Jake? Jake. Oh, do you want to play as Jake? Jake. <laughs> Rachel. So we got Jake, Cassie. Rachel, Cassie. Marco. And Marco. Photo. Oh, no. <sighs> Should we play as Jake? I don't know if we get a chance to change it in the next level. We might as well play it just right at the top. That's where it defaults to do Yeah, that's true. All right. All right, Jake, we're playing as you, mm. apparently. Go with the default. Yeah. It's kind of weird, too. Hmm. We're so used to, like, playing on HD TVs oh, and stuff. that hurts you. And now we're going back old school and playing on a CRT. CRT TV. But for those of you watching, you might not notice anything. Yeah. Other than we are doing composite, so it won't be the quality of SCART cable. Yeah, it's true. Oh, my gosh. But one thing I will say, I do not miss. It's really cool because it has that aesthetic. I'm like, oh, man, I kind of miss the CRT look. But at the same time, I'm like, one thing I don't <laughs> miss. What's that? Is our reflections. Oh, yeah. The, I can totally see us in the TV. I'm going to take a little video of that. I feel like there's got to be a run button. He's like, look at that. <laughs> exactly. And look at that. We can completely see ourselves yeah, right you, through here. Hi. Hi. How you doing? I didn't need to put the mirror up so we can see ourselves when we act. All right. So I'll try again here. I'm, I'm killing it already. I'm killing Jake. Look at that. What is his job? I feel like he just goes... I need a crash helmet. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's so slow and lumbering. <laughs> like, look at these giant leaps he's taking. But how far does he go? <laughs> like he's a gazelle. so slow. I feel like I've seen that before in another game. Huh. Where the person's like running and it's like these giant steps. But it's like, yeah, really slow. So according to the manual, whenever you collect a hundred of those letter, oh. letter A's, you get an extra life. Oh, really? Those Animorph tokens. Looks like you're already down to one life left, too. Yeah. It's pretty bad. I'm just gonna run. I don't even care anymore. Life's better when you don't care. Ha <laughs> ha. I better find some lives. Unless we just start over. What the frick is that? What's that? Oh, okay. I'm a tiger now. I think the attack button for that is square. 
Square? I'm just hitting every button but square. All right. And I'm back. So I don't get a choice to change to morph. <laughs> it automatically morphs me. That's kind of disappointing. And didn't you say at one point like you were at your buddy's house, like Tom and Mike, mm -hmm. and you had to go to the bath. You had to go take a wee wee. Like yeah, we're gonna start playing Animorph. So I'm like, okay, I really gotta rush to the bathroom because of that visit to Taco Bell's, but. Uh, I'll be right back so we can play this together. And I get back and they're like, yeah, we're done playing now. The game was just so bad we had to turn it off. <laughs> what the heck? What I fell that? through it? He just glitched right through the thing. What the heck? So, I mean, I kind of get what they're saying. You're like, what are, they, what are they talking about? This was awesome, but not the way I'm playing. Holy cow. Well, that's the thing. You got to get good, bro. Yeah. You gotta get good, bro. Do you even play? <laughs> you gotta be a good gamer. And you're being a poo-poo gamer. Crushers? Crushers? Wesley Crusher? <clears throat> Ping! Oh, wow. Glitch. It's weird because it's game is very reminiscent of like Wild 9 when we played that on the original PlayStation. Oh, it does. Yeah, that's my first thought actually. It looks just like Wild 9. It's even kind of got that same music too. Oh, excellent. Oh no. That's the other thing too. It's really dark and it's hard to see the platforms. Yeah. But is it because it's on a CRT now? I don't know. The recording looked pretty dark too. Oh my gosh. I didn't know it was going to do that. I thought it was going to stop and, like, you got to better jump off, better jump off. No, apparently not. It's the green acid from Sonic Spinball. Yeah. We're in the Vigo Fortress. Ooh. What? Oh, what the frick? It's like Sonic. Just right into the spikes. I had no idea. <laughs> Better lose a life just to learn a tiny, tiny little bit about this level, and then go right back say, to the like, beginning. They just keep giving you like tons and tons of lives. Yeah, that's true. That's not so. It's I like don't you, know what's going on. It's like why. you've been like losing a lot of lives, but it's like you're still alive, and I keep seeing the life counter keep oh, going down. Oh, Yeah. Okay. What? I didn't die. It just hurt me a little. Yeah. So apparently the spikes will just hurt you. Huh? Ah! A lot. They even got spikes on fire. Flaming spikes. Now I want to get that thing, but I have to jump all the way up on there and hurt myself to get it. Yes. <sighs> Not worth it. What the frick? I should have just gotten the life. I need a crash helmet. I need a crash <laughs> helmet. <laughs> <laughs> what the Psych! Psych! Take that freaking thing out from underneath. <laughs> All right, I'm so done with this. Oh, I'm literally done with this. Give All right, it's your I'll turn. It. <laughs> Give me that. Thing. Look at that. Wow, what's the what is going on there? Okay. Oh, uh, he had his hand was smashing yeah, his head down. Smashing someone's head down. Holy smoke! <laughs> See, I always remember this blue centaur creature just sitting there. On the books. All right, so I'm going to do it then. I'm going to pick the entrance, and I'm going to pick Jake. Okay. Be Jake then. I'll show you how to really play the game. You had some practice, so it's cheating. Beauty. Just that's how you play it. That's just how you play it it's right It's crazy, there. too, because it, like, jacked half my life. Huh. Yeah, right away. So that the blue ones will partially fill your health. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Right off the screen. Yeah, it is. It's kind of like Wild 9 where it's like it'll allow you to run around. Yeah. So it's not strictly 2D. Yeah, it's not a total side-scroller. Big giant boom. Where? Is that a life now? I wasn't... Yeah, that's a life. Okay. So those things like automatically push you. Blue lights or are you talking yeah, about? Yeah, these blue light things are almost like trampolines. Yeah. Insane. <laughs> insane! Yeah, you just fell like 14 stories and survived. That is insane. There's no fall damage here? Apparently not. 
music's pretty intense too. Yeah, I like it. You stick this one in your car and drive down the street. I like the environment. Slime. It's green green slime. slime. A lot of this stuff. Janky scoops. <laughs> Beauty. That's the thing. It's like you got to be so specific about it. Like, oh, you want that extra life? A little bit to the left, you're dead. A little bit to the right, you're dead. Hey! Hey, what are you doing? Hey! Ah! That's one thing, too. It's like it feels like you got to be really patient. Like, just yeah. Almost like a memorizing thing. So it's like you got to wait for it, and then it's like, okay, let it come down. Okay, now jump. Yeah. But you got to know there's spikes there, so okay, now jump. What is it good for? Absolutely nothing. He almost gives Tall Set a run for his money. Yeah. Terrible jumping. And the sounds. Did you say alien alert? I think so. Alien alert. Alien. Don't, don't sweat, big dog. Don't sweat loud. I'm going to overheat because I don't sweat. It also has the vibe of Odd World, Abe's Odyssey. Oh, yeah. I want to play through that a little bit more. I know we did some tests with it, but... <clears throat> it's a heck of a fall. Man, they got a manatee... Or manatee, what is that thing? <laughs> it's a stingray. man ray. It's a man ray. A man ray. <laughs> they got a stingray sitting there swimming around in the acid. That's <laughs> awesome. Better not screw I it up either. Take it. All right. Better not make a boo-boo. Better not shout. You better not. Oh, that was so weird to figure out what was going on there. Better not pout. I'm telling you why. Warp time. He even said it, too. He's like, warp time. Yeah, at least he warned us this time. Warp time. Yeah, the warping in here seems kind of weird. It's like he only does it when you get to a certain area, but you can't trigger it on your own. Hmm. <clears throat> yeah, I wish you could. Wish you could just hit the button. Oh no! Well, that's cool. Oh wait, are those checkpoints? No, that's not checkpoints, are they? Those are lives, I thought. But now it's. It might be the checkpoints. Are oh! It's there's. It just randomly. Oh my god! I can't tell the depth perception on this. Not again. Yeah, not again. That's what the audience is thinking. Oh. You know what you forgot to do? What? Go to the options and adjust all the settings. You want me to? What's going on in the options? We can't do it from here, though, because it's really? an older game. Cool. It's an older game. We can adjust <laughs> the music volume, sound effects volume, master volume, the voiceovers. Okay. I can't. If only this was an Oculus. Jake is a strong and serious type, according Ooh. to the manual. He always Stoic. tries to do what's right, which makes him the natural leader of the Animorphs. Hmm. Then there's Rachel, who's Jake's cousin. She's a, She looks like a fashion model, but strong-willed and can take charge when necessary. This looks like Sonic. Oh, collect all the rings, Sonic! <laughs> yeah, it even kind of reminds me a little bit of um, <coughs> Crash Bandicoot. I need that, don't I? No, I don't need that. Okay. Crash bash. <coughs> yeah, that's so weird. Look, oh. Those are really like... Oh! Got one life left to live. Be an amino. Advertising bicycles in the manual. Hey! Are they advertising bicycles? The 2000 Interceptor GT by GCBicycles.com. All right, I gotta be super careful with this. What the? If I jump, I go too far. If I enough jump too already. early, I don't go far enough. Enough already. Give the controller to Jake. Like sometimes he jumps way too far, and sometimes he just doesn't jump far enough. Beauty Clark. Okay, okay. Well, I'll take it. I'll do it. Just kill, just, just, mess, just kill us all. Back all to the die. beginning. Back to the beginning and do it all over again. Like, let us save right there. But it doesn't. I think you have to beat the whole oh, entire dangerous. thing. That's crappy. 
great. Look how he slides down that, too. Even that's like a glitch. Huh. And some of this stuff, too. Like, I'd like to ride that down, and maybe there's a secret down there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Because obviously you can get down here, and that thing keeps going up and down. Yeah. It but looks like there would be something down there, but there doesn't seem to be. Unless you can jump sideways through a wall or something. Something that we can't see. Yeah. Not every game is Donkey Kong Country 2. Unfortunately not. <laughs> then again, the save state seems to be like Donkey Kong Country 2. Where you have to get through like five stages before you actually get to save. Sounds like coins too. Some of the music sounds like uh, Babylon 5. Wow. That, <laughs> that ant just punched you in the face. <laughs> I've never, the ant was just like... Psh, psh. It's got like a huge uppercut. I've, this controller might not have been used for a long time, so when I was pushing it earlier, he wasn't jumping, and I had to, like... It has been sitting, like, in my basement for a long time, so there's that. But also, we were always really tough on controllers. All right. <clears throat> this is your turn now, because I effed it up last time. You pooped it up? Yeah. Time to teach him a lesson. Time to teach him a lesson. It's time to teach him a lesson. <laughs> what kind of lesson is that? I'm gonna roll up my sleeves and really teach him a lesson. It's really weird too because I'm having a difficult time really telling what these creatures are. Oh. And it's like, is it really because we're doing composite on a CRT? But is it because we're also getting the reflections of the lights? I mean, that could be. And I lost my remote. I don't know what happened to it. My mom brought this TV over and they're like, is there a remote with it? Uh. Well, my dad, Steady my mom now. and dad brought this over from the house. Steady now. Steady. Steady as a green goose. Steady as a goose. <laughs> oh, yeah, I don't need that hell. Come like, on, ooh, now. Th there's a sort of like this Asian sounding. I don't know what you call that stringed instrument in there. Like that oh, no! So that's what that does. Yeah, so you gotta sit. The sit and wait. There's like all these creatures swimming around too. Yeah. I expect one to jump up and grab you. That's what I was thinking too, yeah. It's like something's gonna come up and you have to time it to where they don't grab you. Do -do 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 -do. Like the crocodiles from the adventures of Bayou Billy. Right, Bayou Billy? Did we we didn't play that. Nope. Do you have that? Yep. <laughs> okay. Oh, wow. oh, look at this. Imagine doing this in real life. Yeah, this is, like, just jump through the gears. <laughs> oh, yeah, jump on the gears. This is, this is Woody inside the uh, claw machine. Oh, no. As soon as you get it backwards, it's just, like, not happening. I like that music. He snaps <laughs> some of them, too, which is annoying. Oh, I actually prefer it snapping, because unless it's snapping to the wrong yeah, ones. Yeah, snapping. Course. it was yeah. snapping me to the... What's One that? that it's green. Top. Is it always green? Has it been green this it's entire been blue, time? But I wonder if it's now we're in like the green zone. Maybe it's uh, green. I don't know. Unless the green ones give you like three extra lives. That'd be cool. Yeah, let's teach him a lesson, Jake. Let's teach him a lesson. You know what else we didn't do? What's that? We didn't check the difficulty settings. You can look at the manual, but I don't think there was. Oh, okay. It didn't say anything about difficulty settings. <laughs> okay. Unless there is in the options. You know what I'll do? I'll let you continue. Okay. And because... It's what? It's, it's what? what? Did he say something? Yeah, he was like, this is... This is nuts! This is nuts! I mean, no, it's fireballs. This is nuts! This does look really cool. Look at the lava. Yeah. And you gotta time it. One, two, three, and then jump. So there's one, two, three, jump. Now watch this. Watch this. Watch <laughs> different angle. It changes angles. It's a potabo. A what? They're potabos. What? Those are those fireballs in the original Super Mario Brothers game. Is it? That's what they call those fireballs when you're in the castle. Oh. Why do they do that? <laughs> I don't know. You'll have to ask the creator of Nintendo why they call them potabos. <laughs> oh, that's Holy like. Cow. Oh, I see. That's like a grid. It's crazy. It's so hard to see. It is. I keep looking at. It's so dark. 
Well, I think that's the problem, too, is because of the lights in the studio is reflecting off the TV. So I'm that's like, true. Do you want me to, like, turn some of this down? I, I think know. you can leave it. Yeah, I'll just leave it. It's fine. No, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Heck with it. <laughs> you and so your loud, game. too. Is it? I mean, like, the sounds of the game, it's like it's never stopping. Oh, yeah, it's just, like, noisy. <sighs> On some of those, it's almost best just to do this. Just walk. Hmm. Like, watch this. Yeah. Walk. I noticed a lot of these jump puzzles are just walk puzzles. Walk. Yeah. Walk. Walk. Walk, walk, walk. Walk, walk. Okay. Walk, walk, walk. Old Sesame Street. Is it? Almost sounds like a horror game. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Look at Chris Redfield from Resident Evil. Yeah. Look at that. This is ridiculous. Looking. He said something I couldn't hear him. It's just the audio in this game. Yeah. The, or maybe the, it's my setup. The controls in here are really ridiculous. Like this is hard trying to like time that. Yeah, that looks insane. I could not, I would have fallen 20 times. What is that? Look at this. Look at this. It's just in your face. Like, that's in the way. <laughs> Get her off the screen. Okay, got them all. Gotta catch them all. Okay. Is that a dinosaur? Looks like a boss fight, almost. Boom! Boom! All hit right. and run. Yeah. Boom. Hit and run. Guerrilla yeah. warfare. Boom. <laughs> hit and run. Boom. Cheater. Why are you talking about guerrilla warfare on the NES? Yeah, that's what everyone was thinking. I'm pretty sure. No problem. <laughs> what? Yep. That's a game we got to play sometime on the show. Cool. Battle Arena Toshinden. Hmm. Battle Toads? Cable boats. Uh, Holy cow. This is just like his beetle just, <laughs> just beating you up. He won't go this boom, way. Boom. He can't back up. I think you're I think that's backwards, so it won't let Oh, that's right. When you're when you're a, a lion thing, it's like it won't let you traverse a barrier. A lion thing? I don't know. <laughs> you know, one of those cat things? <laughs> one of those saber tooth now? things? A tiger? When you're <laughs> something behind, it's like a control room in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah. It's our game studio. Feels like siphon filter. Yeah. There's another life. Fifteen. They always told me to get a life, so I played more video games. All right, so now we're in this next section. Grab that. It's also got a timer. Hmm. Like, down in the lower right-hand corner, it counts down whenever you're an animal. Oh. So what if I just, like, wait two minutes? Would I turn back into a human and just have to dodge these things? I, I don't know. Apparently, it's letting you continue as a tiger here. It's, like, it's almost like a mini-game. As soon as you turn into an animal... There you go, okay. I guess as soon as you get through it. Piece of cake! Yeah, and then the music like drastically changes too. Huh, yeah. Yeah, it is. It's like all of a sudden, it's like a boss battle or a mini boss battle or something. Some sort of teleportation thing going on over there. Is it spewing stuff? I don't know. It's pewing stuff. Pewing? Happy la pew? Patrick Pewing. Patrick? Oh, for crying out loud. It didn't come all the way over. Yeah, I thought it would too. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Didn't say the magic word. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. Why? He hit the top of that stupid thing. Huh. It's like, oh, you bumped your head, you jumped too high. That's crazy. Oh, I like the music. Yeah, that was pretty cool sounding. So this one doesn't come all the way over. So it's like, okay, jump now. I'm getting nowhere.
nowhere fast. I'm getting nowhere <laughs> fast. It's funny, ain't it? Huh? <laughs> it's funny. He's just like laughing about it. He's like yeah. dying. He's like, oh boy. Oh boy. I'm just dying. <laughs> this level's killing me. <laughs> I lost my life. <laughs> I passed away. <laughs> I'm the red bread. <laughs> <laughs> Poor red bread. What is that? It reminds me of Men in Black. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, where it's like going up and down those uh, harmonic scales. That thing was talking. Oh, the ooh, backhanded me. Ooh. Come on now. What is that tail? It's like a big, long hockey stick. Turn it back into Jake. Need some health. Jake, why don't you do that in real life? Exactly. Yeah. Get done with like a mini boss this fight. Is nuts. This is nuts. Okay. Look at that. There's holes in the ground. You can barely see them, but there's holes. I can't see it. Holy smoke. Oh, I see it now. That little window thing. Oh, Ow, I'm gonna have to I can't see like... Jack. I can't see Jake. What? Oh, there's one. Oh, there's two of them in that one. Oh, there's a gap. Insane. Mind the gap. Insane! Oh, man, this is crazy. I like this, but it's, you know, a little dark. Maybe it's my adapters. Maybe my adapter makes it look dark. Holy cow, look at that. Nice. The crystal shard. Instead <gasps> of going... Oh, saving. Oh, saving. Oh! <gasps> Wow. So that was the entrance. All right. All right, so that was the end. I'm going to hand it up to you, and you can do the C. Okay, here we go. Yeah, the I don't C. know if it's the adapters that you have, because... I don't know. Your setup is kind of... It's goofy. Right now, yeah, you're doing composite out, but it's going into your Elgato. Is, yeah, is it doing that, composite into the TV direct? No, it's not. And it might be easier to see if it was. It's going composite out of the con console, into my adapter, into the Elgato... And then out HDMI to another adapter back to <laughs> composite and into my CRT TV. <laughs> Why is it? It lets me change a different <laughs> character? We could. Since we All did right. Jake, we'll just go Let's to Ra maybe Rachel. Rachel. All right. <clears throat> Good old Rachy Rach. Okay.